everyone. So, HGL's not under here. I haven't seen you in a month, maybe a little bit more. I have a huge cosplay comp coming up. Um, I have been sewing like forever, and if you don't know, I've shared it on my Instagram a couple times. I'm pretty active in the cosplay community in Perth, Western Australia, and there's a convention I like to compete at every year that is the last weekend of September this year. Uh, and I'm so stressed and so behind on my cosplay. <laughs> so because of that, I've not been filming as much here, um, which I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, sorry that I haven't been updating as much. Um, I've done a lot of cool things for my dolls recently, including a new face and Pleasant Company jacket that I found on Depop in Australia. Yay! And then someone in a different state was selling the doll version that almost matches. This one's Chicago. This one's New York. And this is Maple, who is my Truly Me 55, who I picked up the day before my wisdom teeth surgery. Another reason you've not seen me. I have four less teeth and I'm way less wise. Um, so this is Maple, a number 55. Happy to give you an in-depth look at her in another video. But that's not why we're here today. I have like quite a few doll finds to show you recently, but that'll have to be another video because I did some damage. <laughs> um, so this is Maple. I'll put her back for now. Another thing I want to show you before I get started in the actual haul, as I'm sure you've seen the title of this video, and that is, whoop, this is the Tuxedo Cat, which is like the licorice re-release from like 2014-ish. The reason I was so desperate to have this cat is that it matches my cat, who is, well she left, she's not in the room anymore, RIP. She'll probably ask to come in at some point today. Her name is Noonie, and this matches Noonie, so her name is Tiny Noonie. But yes, Noonie is one of my three cats, and now I'm just missing my other two, but AG hasn't ever released a tabby cat that matches mine at all. The grey kitten's pretty close, but that's not what we're unboxing today. <laughs> um, so, on a whim, I messaged someone who was selling a big lot of like 2014 American Girl clothes. A doll, a bed, and a box. And I was like, hey, would you be willing to ship to Western Australia? They weren't in Western Australia. And they were like, yep. The shipping price ended up being huge. Uh, but I didn't know until after I purchased the lot. So I spent a bit more than I wanted to. But even considering everything, I definitely want to keep all the outfits. That's for me. I might end up reselling the doll and I might end up reselling the bed if it doesn't fit in my dollhouse. Or I might become attached and keep it. But even if I just keep the outfits, it worked out at 17 Australian dollars per outfit, including postage, which is pretty cheap for an American girl outfit. It's cheaper than an our generation outfit in uh, Australian stores. So I have a huge box and a smaller thing. I think I'll start with the bubble wrapped item first and then go into the big box. Or do I want to go for the big box first? Let's have a look what's in the big box. Okay. So the big box is the bed, so let's do the bed, definitely the bed first. Again, apologies for my floor. As I said, mid-cosplay prep. So. Yee! Okay. So, everything is everywhere. I'm just going to pull things out. This is... An American Girl brand like side bag with some stuff inside. There's a ruler, there's a pencil case. There's stuff on the inside. Oh there is more! There's some stickers. There's a binder with some pages in it. Oh it's got this person's name in it, that's cute. And some books. Some of it has some writing in it, but I don't mind. Yes, super cute backpack. There's an outfit that I already have, which is this one. So I'm not sure what I'll do with it. <gasps> Yay! This is, I believe, called the Weekend Fun Outfit. I think it's missing the vest, but it's this cute like Henley style 
floral shirt and jeans. I'll show everything closer up. I'm just going to get everything out of the packet. Cute shoes and the headband. Hey, these are the flats that go with the outfit. I am missing these shoes, so yay. <coughs> Pair of slippers. Oh, pajamas. This is my second American Girl brand pair of pajamas. Cute. They have butterflies on them. The bed. All right. This is the Duna or Comforter. I don't love this one, but it will match this doll room that I have up here. Also, don't mind this very old Our Generation horse. Found her in an op shop and I've not done anything with her. All right, let's... I'm gonna do this. This is the trundle. Wow, this is great. I have one piece of American Girl brand furniture, which is Isabel's sewing studio. So there's this, and here's the bed. This is wooden and very hefty. That's plastic, but I love this teal fabric. This is actually so cute. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to set up everything and show you. Ooh. Okay. Let me just... Okay. Next up was a box of American Girl brand boxes, but I'll open this last because this is what I'm most excited for. Because most things are still like neat and in the box, so... Yay! Gonna pop all the stuff onto the bed. Let's get in on this behemoth, which is where the doll is. Now, this is also an American Girl brand item, I believe, or it's something really nice from like Journey Girls or our generation. But I am not familiar with this one at all. The doll herself is one that I'm not looking to add to my collection, but as I said, I might get attached. Don't worry. These are an old pair of fabrics, this is not a recent pair of fabric scissors, in case I've just given a seamstress a heart attack. Old, not new fabric scissors. I'm not ruining them, I promise. <laughs> so this is a box. And I don't know if it's American Girl brand. It's nice. It's a cute case. It's fun. Usually American Girl brand things like really like American Girl brand, but this one isn't. The clips are pretty. Let's unclip. Oh, ma'am! Oh no, she fell over. And her hair is caught. Okay. So let's grab her first. Oh, she's in schmicknick. Like, she's in great condition. Her hair's like a little dry, but. Oh, don't let me keep her. Oh no, she's cute. Wow, this meat outfit too, it looks like she's been barely played with. Like, yeah, her hair's a bit crusty, but she's in really good condition. And she reminds me of Sophie Claire from Mixie Pixie 7, because she is truly me number 27. And she's a really cute truly me number 27. And 27's my favorite number, like just in life. I'm justifying, don't let me justify. Her headband's cute. Does she have pierced ears? She has pierced ears! And this girly pop has pink earrings in. Very girly! Ooh, let's see what else is here. She's got legging, uh, leg warmers. She has a ballet set. I know she has a ballet set. I think this person must have been a dancer because she has like Isabelle's stuff in here too that I don't have. Cute Christmas outfit with a bubble hem. This is giving nostalgia. <laughs> let's have a look how snagged the tights oh my goodness these tights have like no snags <gasps> wow I love when people take care of their things and it does have a headband I'm not sure what uh, gear that Christmas outfit is from and red flats very Dorothy oh my goodness 
everything is in here. Sorry. Hee hee hee. Oh, it's so cute, this ballet outfit. It does say American Girl at the back. As I said, I'll show you everything a bit more close up afterwards. We have another pair of tights. These are more of like a ballet tight. Cute. Ballet slippers. I have a lot from Isabel's collection, but I don't have Isabel. There is a American Girl brand tutu. So this is really cute. I will say American Girl brand tutus, I don't think are that great. I really would love a more structured tutu and I guess it's hard for the price that they are to expect like really nice ballet quality tutus but is it a plate? Is it a romantic tutu? I think it needs more. The tutus from American Girl need more. These flats which are from one of my favourite outfits from this era that I always wanted when I was first collecting. So these red flats that go with the floral sweater and skirt hat. Okay so there's this bow headband which I think is from this set. This red floral sweater. This is like an out of body experience. Wow. And then this floral skirt. This is really pretty floral. Oh so cute. I already own this hat. Again, this will be another that makes its way somewhere else. Um, this outfit is one I was super looking forward to. I've almost bought this outfit secondhand so many times. Um, pair of grey leggings. My dolls don't really wear leggings, but make an exception so that I can put this whole outfit together. These boots! <gasps> Look at these boots! They're so cute! And most importantly, the sweater dress. Wow. Oh, all of these outfits are so, so like nostalgia for me. These are all things from like the era of AG and AG tube that I was like fully into. Oh, this is so crazy. This is like so odd that I own these things now. Um, another outfit, I think it's called the Tropical Breeze outfit. There's an American Girl pair of leggings with a star, another pair of leggings. Um, this headband with a knot detail. Ah, here's the best for the weekend outfit. Cute. Very 2012. This, like, cyan teal t-shirt. With this uh, detail on the front. That's actually not, like, the stickery kind of print. It's actually, like, in the fabric, which is really interesting. Because I'm an international collector, I've like not seen many of these things up close despite like having wanted them for a long time. Wow. Every time I've seen people have these shoes, they've been so grubby and like dirty. But these are in like pristine condition. They're the shoes for this outfit. Wow. All right. Next draw. An American Girl brand hanger. Pop that back on. This is an AG Place hoodie, I believe. Still has a tag on it. We just there we go. Take that off. Ooh, that hurt my thumb. This red hoodie with a metallic star and these like stitch lines. And the hood is lined, which is interesting. It's fun. It's quite loud. It's not my favorite American Girl brand hoodie that I own, but it's really cute. This American Girl red is such an iconic color. I shouldn't have worn this outfit because it's everything's going to blend into it. Boop. An American Girl brand hat. This is my second American Girl brand hat. My other one is black and red. This one's just red. Lined with the same as the hood. It's stretchy and it's got like these cool strap details. Ooh, American Girl Place Houston t-shirt. I have a Vancouver American Girl Place shirt, but I don't have Houston. Ooh, I do not like how those feel. And that elastic looks like it. Oh, yep, ready to rake. Okay, we'll just take it off now. It's for me, no one will care. A pair of sandals. Oh, these have Velcro. Interesting. Cute. And a bikini. 
Oh, it's a skirt bikini. Cute. Ah, oh, it has Velcro. So yes, this is my second pair of American Girl brand bathers. I go to the beach a lot as someone who lives in Western Australia, so. Cute. We have the Spring Breeze outfit, I believe. So it has these pink and teal tennis shoes. Oh, I love this shirt. This halter shirt with this floral print. Oh my goodness, this is so nostalgia. And this pair of shorts. I have a very similar pair of shorts. It's like a Pleasant Company one, but I really like these ones too. The pockets are really interesting. Cute. Oh, it's like a fly front with the vodka. I love seeing how American girlfriend clothes are made. This is one of the things I bought the lot for, which is the Sweetheart something Valentine's Day dress, which has these platform pink sandals. Boop. And this cute dress with hearts. And it's like a summery dress and it's got bows on the sleeve. And my truly me number 122 Mona wears like red and pink exclusively. So this is for Mona. A lot of these things are giving Mona. And another thing I was really excited for, um, if you don't know me, I don't uh, keep any of my historical character dolls historical, but I do love Julie's collection and I am just removing the broken elastic because why keep it on there if it's broken? Um, I love Julie's collection and I have a couple of outfits from Julie's collection for my dolls. So a pair of flip flops and it's Julie's swimsuit. So it comes with the swimsuit bottoms and the super cute swimsuit top. Love this. You could almost use it as a regular shirt. And I probably will end up using it as a regular shirt. It's cute enough to. Halter. Cute. All right, so that is everything inside this drawer. Which means we're up to the bag of boxes. have Isabel's funky leggings. I think these are so ugly but I'm glad to have it. I do have a lot from Isabel's collection. Isabel's funky leggings with this really odd little leg tie. Isabel's collection is so strange. <laughs> but yes my dolls will enjoy this. Cute little leggings. I'll put them back and forth. I wonder if any of these come with the charms. Cross my fingers. Isabel's coral sweater is something I have wanted since I started collecting. I've got my first doll in 2014 and I really wanted to buy this for her because of its thumb holes. Yeah, and this one has the thumb holes intact. Yay. This is so cute. I love the asymmetric cut. Isabel's floral sweater. Something I've wanted for a really, really long time. I love all the like sweaters and jumpers for American models. I'm just gonna pull everything out. Okay. Let's do the double bow dress. <gasps> I see a charm. Yay! Okay, so we have these cute little sandals with bows on them. I love when the elastic straps are like the cloth style elastic, not the like rubber elastic. These are cute. This is gonna look gorgeous on SD, my Claudie. There is this dress. Wow, and these little bows are so cute. And this headband is adorable. Yay. And then does it, it has the charm packet. Does it have the charm in it? And it's still got the tape on it, guys. So it does have the charm. This is the kind charm. This is so cool, guys. I've never had any of the outfits that have the charms. Like, 
this is the era I started collecting, but when I started collecting, I didn't buy anything but dolls. Like, I didn't buy any outfits or accessories. Because I just couldn't afford it. Like, I was just a little 15 year old or 14 year old in a hobby that. Well, no, I was still. Yeah, no, 14. I was 14. And all I had was like pocket money I'd saved a long time ago or when I got my first job and started earning money. But yeah, when I first started collecting, all I bought was dolls, nothing else. Okay, what will we do next? I'm saving this one to last. Let's do... The Sweet Savannah dress is another one that I already have, but I don't have all the pieces for, so let's see. Comes with a charm! It has these grey flats. Boop -boop this pink headband and the sweet savannah dress as I said I already have one that came on my pleasant company Samantha and another charm let's open it up it's the brave charm cute I'm gonna have to show you all of these up close True Spirit Accessories, so this is the like, when you bought this era of American Girl, this was the optional extra accessories pack. The money's never been opened, so this is the little packet of money. The beret! I don't have a beret for my dolls yet. This one's knitted. Cute. Her library card. We love a girly who reads. The teeniest, tiniest little purse. Is just enough room to put her library card and her money. When I say just enough room, I had to bend that library card a little bit and put her money in it too. But in the plastic, because American money is made of paper and it will melt if water touches it. Australian money is superior. What are you doing? Don't go in a plastic bag. Cat. So here is the jacket from the True Spirit accessories. This is cute as. Buttons have little stars on it. So cute. We've got the Sunny Isle outfit, which is I know, I think Alley Cat AG said it was one of her favorites and Evelyn Rose AG has also said this is one of her favorite outfits. Comes with a pair of orange thongs. You call them flip-flops, we call them thongs. With some bead details. These are fun. This outfit is not very much my style, but I think I can use some of the pieces for some of my dolls. Pair of blue, like Hawaiian print shorts. These are loud. <laughs> cute, but loud. This flower clip is cute though. With a sequin and this yellow shirt. Fun! And another charm! This is the kind charm, which is green. box for the cozy sweater outfit but I know I've already taken the cozy sweater outfit out of the box so this has some other things in it we have what's in here oh it's her charm necklace with so many charms on it wow this is so cool so yes the charm necklace that used to come with the dolls in the my American Girl era which as I said is my favorite era of American Girl um, so it comes with uh, so many charms. So many charms. Obviously from all the outfits that didn't have their boxes with them. It's got the headgear for her to sleep with if she has braces. I had braces but I actually have no idea how headwear, had headgear work so we'll have to see. The choker necklace that I believe comes with the uh, sweet, 
hot outfit and a little toothbrush Boop -boop. and her retainer this has come out I'm pretty sure it's supposed to stay in but you know what that's okay a retainer I had a retainer but it broke don't tell my orthodontist fun next up we have pop doll earring tips to go with all of these doll earrings which is great because I'm pretty sure I've lost oh, a lot of my dolls didn't come with their earrings even though they had their ears pierced so that's really fun there's a couple really cute earrings in here we'll have to have a play and look at all of them I think they definitely have the budstone earrings because I see lots and lots and lots of colorful studs great there's a beach bag, which has some sunscreen. And a pair of red sunglasses. Great. Perfect for the beach. And I believe this is Julie's beach towel. It has to be. So fun. And that means we're up to the last thing, which is an outfit that I've been wanting for ages. This is the Frosty Fair Isle set boots Ooh, bit of a grubby spot on these boots that sucks but I can probably get it out these fleece boots knitted headband gray leggings these are thick wow and most importantly this blue sweater this reminds me a lot of one from Chris's collection and it's beautiful Wow, the detail on this era of American Girl clothing. I know like Pleasant Company things are great and the recording stopped because I think I have over 30 minutes. But yes, I was saying how Girl Today era things are great and uh, Pleasant Company is great, but this specific era, era of American Girl from like 2012 to 2015 is my favorite. It's just got some pieces that are so nostalgic to me and like the whole AG tube like era. Not that AGTube isn't currently its own era. I say making a video for AGTube. Just the like the era of AGTube I remember growing up with. So this last charm is the strong charm. And it's orange. Okay, so I am going to move the camera and I'm gonna show you everything slightly more in detail and give you a close up of the doll herself. I'm gonna put the bed in the dollhouse and I'm gonna tidy up my floor because it's now a disaster. All right, so I've just brushed her hair a little bit, but this is truly me number 27. Oh, technically she's my American girl number 27, not truly me. She has a little bit of a kink in her hair, but it's brushed out really well and it still has the flip at the front. Have a looking at the back. You can see that it's a little bit frizzy, but she's very cute. I might end up needing to tighten her limbs if I do decide to keep her. This is the trunk. It has some ribbons to tie a doll in. The drawers, and it does close up. Okay, last but not least, here is the, I think it's called the dreamy day bed in the dollhouse. Now it, can fit on the top floor next to Isabel's sewing studio. I just think it looks massive. So I'm probably gonna have a little play around to see where I like it best. Before I finish up this video, I took some time to dress a large chunk of my dolls in outfits from this haul. So I thought I'd just go down the line and show you. Bit of a shaky camera because I don't have a tripod that goes this tall for my doll shelf. So if I just move it along. These are all the outfits that I bought in this lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so many dream pieces. Ignore Kestrel in Julie's birthday outfit dress that wasn't included in this lot. And Mona on the end, I think, has to be my favourite. Those are all of the outfits. Thank you so much for watching this haul and my poor financial decisions. This was 
the biggest haul I've ever done for American Girl and I don't think I'll ever do anything this big again. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys, I will see you in October.